had an amazing opportunity to catch up with celebrity fashion designer Julia Gerard during the filming of her new reality show in West Hollywood. Chatted about one of the topics that's close to my heart, the fur industry. You I dress a lot of celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. How does that feel? How does it feel to see your stuff out there? It feels right. Yeah. It feels like a dream. I always say you are the you are your dream. That your dream is not a fantasy. Mm -hmm. So when celebrities wear my things, I feel like my dream is that I'm in, I'm aligned with my stars. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would say my my biggest issue as a fashion designer is fur. Fur. Animals, fur, killing, no good. Um, and fur is useless, it's not necessary. And I urge everyone at whatever level to buy fake fur and completely support that industry because they are falling apart due to lack of... Uh, actually, PETA, I, mean, I shouldn't even say this possibly, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> PETA is probably the biggest problem that the fake fur industry has. Okay. And PETA doesn't want anybody to wear any kind of resemblance of, to fur or skin because they want to be free to do what they've been doing for years, which is to spray you, annihilate you for mm. doing it. And they need to change their ways. They need to re, uh, reinvent themselves knowing that there's nothing wrong with the faux fur industry. Because if the faux fur industry has income, then they are able to um, go more eco because it is quite a bit sure. of a pollutant. Oh, uh, okay. It. Yeah, it's, it's a problem. And at the same time, it's solving a humongous problem of killing animals. And my, one of my friends, Shannon Keith, she made a film called um, Skin Trade. You can't even watch it. It's so horrific. And mm. like, for instance, this is not real. I was looking at that. Yeah, Lynn wears similar. Yeah, yeah it's very and there's, pretty. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing uh, animals uh, that's real in here. And then let's say you look at something like this up here, right? Or that over there. I, I was donating something to the uh, Humane Society, and they decided that it looks too real, so they didn't want to take it. Uh, give me a break, man, you know, like, what the hell? So they have this whole thing because they're affiliated with PETA. Okay. And PETA, uh, I'm sorry, again, PETA really needs to reinvent themselves because the time has come, has caught up with them to reinvent themselves. Sure, sure. And if they don't support the, support the faux fur industry, then the, the designers are so romanced by the fur companies they, they're giving hungry designers, which every designer is hungry, unless they're Versace, mm. they're giving them six-figure incomes to design their first for them over and over and over again. Okay. And it's really pathetic. Okay. And um, Norway, who is one of the biggest fur manufacturers in the world, has banned fur from its runways as of February 14th this year. Really? How did that happen? Do you know? They, it, it got to them. It just got to them. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And I'm from Russia. I was basically raised in fur diapers. Uh huh. I had a fur yeah. bed, a bed, a bed cover. I had. We had fur. Every, everything is fur. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And so now it's just something that just really yeah. touches your heart to just. Yeah. And I'm about to launch a whole fur thing. As far as I found a way to recycle old furs, so I'm going to have a fur drive. And then I will have a lot of celebrities and mainly children so that they will take uh, the furs that people want to give up because they don't know what to do with them anymore because uh -huh. I don't believe in reselling them either. So they will uh, donate them. We will shave peace signs in them and oh. then have the kids paint them a certain color and donate them to the homeless shelter but all over the world. Well, thank you for sharing that. I know it probably that's, isn't the easiest thing to share. As a fashion designer, that's my pet, uh. that's like, that's my pet project.